Seven people graduated from that program today. Faith Justice was there for the commencement ceremony. She joins us now here in the studio. Faith, what did the participants say? Kristen, it's completely changed their outlook. They told us that Reno Works was the push in the right direction that they needed, and six of the eight participants actually have job offers lined up. For this group of Reno Works graduates, today was one big step on their path to exiting homelessness. The Reno Works program has helped push you forward. Now not everyone in the program has met the two big goals, which are to get a job and a permanent place to live. But they say they've come out of it with something even more valuable, the drive to keep trying. I think the Reno Works program has given me the confidence to get back out there. Keep on being positive. Keep on moving forward. That's all that matters in life. When we first met Jason Mathewson, he described homelessness as being treated like gum on the sole of someone's shoe. But for the last 12 weeks, he says he's felt acknowledged and seen. Smiles. Lots of smiles. And that means a lot to me. I'm not a bumblegum on the curb. It's a feeling that the whole class seems to share. That bond is being built just because, you know, they're there, you know, encouraging each other, lifting each other up. A tight-knit friendship is easy to see, especially in this room filled with smiles and laughter. It brought joy to my heart to see you guys fight the good fight of faith and the good fight of, you know, just reconciling yourself. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Love you, Jason. <laughs> well, this isn't the first, and it definitely won't be the last 12-week re Reno Works class. The supervisor told us he's already getting ready to host another crew this January. Covering the story, Faith Justice, 2 News.